Stream Electrofishing Surveys, um, just below Cheeseman Dam here and behind me. And what we're doing is just trying to get a population estimate for this section here. And we use stream electrofishing with a, a bank unit with five trodes to capture and uh, take the fish for measurements. This is one of the most scenic sites that we get to do. Uh, definitely one of the best places in my opinion for just for fun. I mean, there's a lot of these pools and different rocks and obstacles. It's kind of like uh, underwater lacrosse. So it's like, it could be an Olympic sport in my opinion. The fish are coming up and catch, trying to catch them really fast. So it's a lot of fun to come out here. Especially get to meet with a bunch of different people. We have volunteers that come out. We have a lot of Forest Service folks that come out and help us. Um, district wildlife managers come out and help us. We have, our Denver Metro Biologist comes up and we get to another one too. So it's a good collaborative team yeah. effort. Yeah. Yeah. Interact with the resource. This hole is so much fun because they just keep coming. I don't know where they come from. We've done so far uh, Cheeseman Canyon around Deckers and, and fish populations are looking really good. There's a lot of fat and health, healthy fish. Uh, a lot and a lot of fish. I know a lot of folks complain that they're having a hard time catching fish, but we, we in a 300 foot section today, we probably got six or 700 good sized catchable fish, of browns and rainbows, cut those. And then the other day by Deckers, we caught around 1,500 rainbows in a 600 foot stretch of stream. So the populations are doing really well, a lot of fat and happy fish. <laughs> We have a crew of 15 to 20 people um, each day, and we do this section, and we also do from the Dream Stream all the way down through Waterton Canyon, and uh, just trying to get you know, lengths and weights on all of the fish, assess the fish health. We're also looking for any sort of strange disease issues that may be occurring with the fish, um, how fit they are, what species are present, and then uh, we use those to generate our fishing reports that we put online for people to see how the population is doing, see if we need to, need to adjust any management recommendations going into the future. Rainbow, 477. 1240.